Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is a Tuesday morning and it is so good to be in your company. Thanks for joining us at the start of a brand new day. Now, listen to this very awful statistic. One in three women in South Africa has had some form of unwelcome sexual encounter before the age of 15. That's absolutely horrifying. And while preventing sexual abuse has proven to be quite tricky and challenging, there is a lot of work that is being done and that can still be done to comfort and protect those who have suffered from it. In fact, that is why we are so glad to be shining a light on the hashtag it's not your fault campaign which is being championed by Miss World South Africa Sasha Lee Olafir who is joining us right now to share some more <laughs> give us some love everybody Fantastic to have you here with Thank us. Good you morning so much to you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Oh. Excellent. So excited. So th to be this here. is your cause that you, as Miss World South Africa, have chosen to champion the hashtag It's Not Your Fault campaign. Tell me a bit more about what this campaign endeavors to do and uh, how you decided on this. You know, if anything, it's a matter of trying to break the chains of silence, shame, and fear. Mm -hmm. So that started by embracing my own story and trying to get people to a place where they do the same. You know, a story, it's, it's a bit tricky to unpack, but it's necessary mm -hmm. because our socialization process, our story, mm. what we survived growing up is, it's what breeds our perpetrators. It's what silences our survivors. And if anything, we need to start asking ourselves these questions. What society or culture are we creating yeah. where silence is a safe place for our survivors. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing your truth and sharing your own you know, experience and all, about all of this. But why is it so important um, for every person who has been affected by sexual abuse to share their story? You know, it's, this is an issue that transcends gender. Mm -hmm. So we need to get to a place where everyone comes to the party, everyone shares their story. And the reason for this is because it's, it's something that's liberating. Mm. I think healing starts with speaking out and speaking your truth. And we're very much aware of the fact that it's not the trauma, it's the aftermath. So mm -hmm. mental health plays such a critical, it's, it's such a critical part of this as well. Yeah. And th so through the hashtag It's Not Your Fault campaign, you are providing uh, packages uh, to survivors of sexual assault. Tell me about uh, what these packages uh, contain and entail and how they endeavor to then help to alleviate, as you've just said now, some of the symptoms of the aftermath. The aftermath. So in essence, what we're trying to do is restore the dignity. Yeah. You know, in a lot of cases, when post your rape medical kit, you are left in a place where you may not have any underwear on mm -hmm. at the time that's an essential part of the pack. Mm -hmm. And what's scary is that a certain part of the pack contains a teddy bear. Now that means that there are kids who are sexually assaulted yeah. mm -hmm. as well. And it's a very unfortunate it's a very unfortunate reality, but here alone in the Western Cape, we have about 1,800 cases per month. And each and every single one of these kids, it would be beneficial for them to have a pack because they need to understand it's not their fault. Mm. Mm. It starts by us believing them and telling them it's not their fault because in this pack there too is a note that tells them this. And I think that was so triggering when I first saw it. And it was a moment for me when I realized this is how we should do this. We yeah. should tell people it's not their fault. Yeah. We should liberate them. Hmm. Now, you have also enlisted the help of the Angel, Net, um, the Angel Network to support you in this campaign. Tell me a bit more about their involvement in making this campaign you know, successful. You know, if anything, the great part about this is that there are so many people who are involved. Mm. There's so many people who understand that this is necessary and this is, this is not a cause, this is a crisis. Mm. So we walked into a situation where this was already set up. They provided a quarter of a million rand, which is great, but unfortunately it only lasts a certain mm. amount of time. Mm. And they've just been the biggest part in championing this. And I'm so happy to have their support. And I'm so happy to get to a place where we can tackle this together. Yeah. Because the reality of this is that we need to work together on this. Mm -hmm. We need to work together on this to solve it. Yeah. And as you said, I mean, I think that's poignant that you said that, that it's not 
a cause, it's a crisis. Mm. Because I think that highlights the need for us as um, a country to hold hands together, not just between the hashtag It's Not Your Fault campaign and the Angel Network, but the, the greater public in society out there. Yeah. So how do we get people, I guess, thinking about this, um, keeping it top of mind, talking about it, and then acting um, in helping you achieve uh, the great goal that you have envisioned for this campaign? You know, a critical part about this is actually having the conversation. Mm. This is a very difficult conversation oh. to have. I think it's something that we need to accept. It's something that is a crisis. It's something that's not often spoken about. And the great part about this is that we all play a role. The media plays a role in yeah. terms of continuing the conversation. Our Miss South Africa platform, our Miss World platform, is something with a legacy that's so far-reaching and meaningful. And you know, they don't, they want to go into the dark spaces, they want to solve these issues. But I think it's a matter of people understanding that they don't need a title to lead. You don't need to be in government to govern. It's a matter of contributing your 120 Rand, getting to a place where we at least know that we have one more comfort pack. You know what I do hope? I do hope that we get to a place where we don't have to use this. Yeah. Oh. Yes, but the unfortunate absolutely. reality absolutely. is that it doesn't seem like that is going to be the reality right now. So we need to get to a place where we, set, we, get, we get to our target, which is raising just above a million rand. Do you know why I don't think it's such a far stretch though? Because 10,000 packs, there's over 50 million people in this country yeah. and it's time that we all stand together on this issue and we start, we start working towards it. The people who started Am I Next, you know, that was a call to action for what's next and this is one of those things. Oh. Thank you so much, you know. I don't think that people actually say thank you so much, you know. Um, we, we are so blessed to have you here just to share your story and what you're doing for all these survivors. Now, we also need all survivors out there to know um, and understand that it is not, it's not, it really is not your fault. Um, if you'd like to find out more info and denote as little as 120 Rand towards Sasha Lee's campaign, then all you need to do is search, uh, search Sasha Lee Olivier Welfare Course on Backabud co.zedia and you can of course contribute to this and um, make sure that you make a sh uh, change and it, yeah. it's not your fault.